Ooh, yeah, thank you, Father. You know, we have to be a church of his presence. And so sometimes we have to just get out of the way and let God wants to do what he wants to do. And it's, it can be uncomfortable sometimes, but it's, it's really necessary. I'm not uncomfortable, but I mean, for some, it could be uncomfortable. But. So we bless you, God. We thank you, Father. Man, especially now, we have to be so saturated in the presence of God to just walk outside. We need to just be just so saturated in His presence, really. The greatest place to be is at the feet of Jesus. We talk about it all the time. Mary and Martha, we talk about it all the time. Mary did the things that Jesus said are the better things and they will never be taken from her. What is that? That is the presence of God will never be taken from her because she's seated and she's uh, worshiping at the feet of Jesus. And he says, that is the better thing. Yes, it's great that you're doing all these things around the house preparing for me and preparing for guests, but the better thing actually is to just sit at my feet and rest and just let me do what I want to do. That's the better thing. So we have to be a church that sits at the feet of Jesus and let and just says programs can just be later. Because how dumb would it be for us to miss an opportunity like this and just say, well, we got to get home, we got to preach, we got a game to go watch, whatever. They'll be there. Record the game. All right. Real quickly, I want to do this because I like doing this because I hate disease and sickness. Anyone needs prayer? Anyone sick? Let's, let's release uh, healing right now. Anybody just want to raise their hand? We're going to release healing over you. We believe that one of the um, we believe that sons and daughters should walk in divine health that's that's I'll just say that so if you need healing from anything I want you to lift your hands if you want if you don't if you don't need healing don't don't lift your hands so so we're gonna go ahead and surround people come on if you see someone with their hand raised and you're a faith-filled believer I want you to surround them and I want you to pray you don't need me or the pastor staff to lay hands on you necessarily